right, we're back in the lab. Uh, we brought in our entire sending unit out of the RV, and we found out that our fuel pump was definitely seized. So we went to Summit Racing Parts, and we ordered some new parts to retrofit this thing with a bigger fuel pump. Mike, you want to show them what we got? Yeah, so here's the original pump we were working with. As you can see, it's pretty small. And we're upgrading to an external fuel pump of uh, quite a big, big size difference here. So we got a bunch of adapters to uh, adapt to our quick fittings, uh, as you can see here, the quick forward style disconnect. Um, we got some regular fuel line, uh, a new uh, strainer unit to go in the tank, um, some hose clamps, some mounting kit, uh, and we're going to try to put it on the sending unit and wire it up as an external fuel pump. Yeah. So basically, if we have problems now in the future, we'll be able to get to our fuel pump without dropping the tank uh, because that was absolutely miserable and we don't have to do that <laughs> one again. So again. now we are going to cut this thing open and put our strainer in and hopefully get it back in the RV later today. Some way of securing that and not bending to the that. bottom. Yeah. Do you have any zip ties? Yeah, but see, I don't know. Because like we could find a rock. But it took uh, a copper wire. Zip ties would, would last. Yeah, I think tying it off with copper is going to be the best bet. Well, look, you actually have your own multi tool today. Yeah. It's really all it needs. This is tightened down. I think. I think Jeb tightened them all. Maybe not. It doesn't actually look like he tightened them down.
right, we're back at the RV for hopefully the last day of the fuel tank project. Uh, we got all the parts we need, the tank slid back under. We're gonna mount the fuel pump up, raise the tank, and hopefully drive it off the lot. Yep, so I'm just gonna run under there, pop these on it, mount the fuel pump, and we'll be good to go. First, before we start the tank in, It's better to actually have that on there. From is it Taylor? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what this thing for a nice open room. <laughs> what? <laughs> On this side. Have you ever tried getting good? Good first step. Here, I'll, I'll pull it in a second. You ready? Alright, I need uh, the right size wrenches for this. Do you know what these are, Nick? 716.
A lot of this later footage is, is garbage, yeah. but... Bill, move that thing. I didn't even know it was here. Here, where's the lid? Back on. No, Goodbye, carbon monoxide poisoning. Woohoo! Oh, hey, crisis. I'm serving an essential role. I'm being the door while also giving us airflow. I thought we were just ripping it out. Mm -hmm. The carpet? Yeah. You mean we're gonna put on the top of it? What are we gonna reupholster with? Uh, shorter carpet. Or shag carpet. <laughs> Longer so, carpet. It does work. I know, we need a ham now though. Can you get me one on there? No. Why not? Does it have a PA? A what? Hello? Hello? You're out there. You gotta turn them on. Where? Probably a One, two. Bill, am I yelling it? I have a horn for this. Like, I have a PA horn for this to be. Really? Yeah. Test, check, one, two. Yes! What do you mean? No yes. way! Wait, hold on, do it again! There's a speaker in the back! Oh my goodness! Hi, Mike. Hi! That's dope. Now I can yell at you guys from inside. <laughs> That's gonna come in handy. Oh, yeah. One. Three plus or minus at least one. <laughs> Look, a seagull. Looks totally good to me. Okay, well, I've recorded enough useless footage for today. Yeah.